guy. There is no easy way to say this. This world, it's a video game. You're not real. We sat my And the guy responsible for this world is going to destroy it. You've met God? Yes, he's an absolute troll. Trolls exist. Buddy, if we're not real, doesn't that mean that nothing you do matters? I am sitting here with my best friend trying to help him get through a tough time. Now, if that's not real, I don't know what is. I know this world is just a game, but this place, these people, that's all I have. So I'm not going to be the good guy. Thanks, guy. I'm going to be the great guy. Well, enjoy your lifetime supply of virginity. <laughs> Off you go. This whole good guy routine is ruining the game. Woo! Terminator. It's the first time I've ever driven a car before. I really wish you'd mention that. Yeah. Yeah. Why? That actually hurt my hand. We can save our world, but we have to fight together. I don't know what's happening right now, but I love it. Oh, look. Pretty bad. The island man. The island man. Coming to you live once again from beautiful Hawaii here on the island of Oahu, bringing you, yes you, the best movie reviews on the entire island of Oahu. And yes, this is Trinidad, the island man, your island man, straight out of the bush, bringing you <laughs> uh, his review for Free Guy, the new Ryan Reynolds film. Um, now let me just uh, caveat that by saying that new, this movie actually was done in 2020. It was going to come out in 2021. Um, and well, without further ado, uh, remember our rating scale, shock a thumbs up. It's good to see, I recommend it. Shock a thumbs down, it's junk. I don't recommend it. And overall for Free Guy, starring Ryan Reynolds, uh, Jody Comer, and from Stranger Things himself, Steve, uh, Joe Curie. It is overall a shock of thumbs down. Uh, now it pains me to say that, and that might surprise you. Um, you know, Disney had high hopes for this movie. This was actually a Fox film that was done by Fox, uh, but once Disney took it over, they were deciding what to do with it, and it was going to be released in 2021, but then the pandemic happened. And uh, honestly, from the trailers, I personally felt this movie was going to go straight to streaming. A uh, perfect movie for Disney Plus, even. Uh, but uh, reports say that Disney execs saw this movie, saw great potential in it, possibly franchise or sequels in it, and uh, decided to just do theaters only for this movie, uh, which I feel was a mistake. Uh, now, Ryan Reynolds, of course, is very funny. I uh, enjoyed the Hitman's Bodyguard 1 and 2. Uh, you know, Deadpool, he can't be beat. Uh, however, uh, in this movie, this movie feels, you know, it doesn't feel fresh. And not even the fact that it was done two years ago, almost, and ready for theaters then. Uh, it feels like something that was, like, obviously 10 years too late. Uh, this is not a video game movie, but feels very much like your classic standard video game movie. Uh, whereas NPC, Ryan Reynolds, a non-player character, a uh, avatar, well, not even an avatar in the game, just one of the people that you meet playing, say, like Sims, uh, Cyberpunk, uh, or, you know, the classic... Uh, Road Rage uh, show uh, or uh, video game uh, Grand Theft Auto uh, feels very much like a Grand Theft Auto kind of game um, whereas you know players from the real world can enter this uh, play this video game and uh, basically do wreak havoc on the citizens of the city which Ryan Reynolds is one of them however he becomes in possession of one of these glasses that uh, the players use that can select their tools in the game and thus you know we find out his programming is a little bit more advanced uh, than just your standard NPC video game and he's able to actually play the game and become a sentient AI in the game changing the overall uh, goal and missions of the game itself as he partakes upon them. Uh, so that 
right there would have been a fun action kind of adventure uh, movie that I was looking forward to. Uh, however, it becomes a little bit more advanced in the real world, say like a Tron, whereas we also get a, a side plot that the creators of a game that was used to as the basis for this game uh, was stolen by Taika Waititi, who's also in this movie, um, playing a large like conglomerate uh, Nintendo or Sega kind of, uh, you know, representative. Um, and uh, basically stole uh, Joe Cures and Jody uh, uh, Comer's uh, basis for their video game, their AI uh, free world associated, you know, just adventure in the free world and do whatever you want in that world. Um, and he made it into your basic shoot 'em up kind of shooter show uh, movie. Uh, I'm sorry, a video game uh, like Grand Theft Auto. Um, and, you know, like many uh, corporations like Google, they would buy out their competitors uh, and their ideas, their software, never use it. They just didn't want the competition, so they shelf it. But in this case, Taika Waititi uses it as a basis for his game, basically stealing their idea and, uh, yeah, uh, and not paying them for it. And so that's the side plot. They're trying to get evidence against Taika Waititi for this game. Very, very kind of Tronzy kind of a uh, scenario in that aspect of it uh, so that they can win these multiple lawsuits against him and shut his company down and get their billions of dollars. Uh, meanwhile, Rhino, Ryan Reynolds is one of these AIs that they had developed in this software uh, that shines through in this Grand Theft Auto type game and becomes a artificial intelligence alive in the video game, although he can never enter the real world. Uh, and so that's where it is. Um, had it just been like a fast shoot 'em up action pass, uh, pack comedy with Ryan Reynolds in this video game like setting, I think that would have done a little bit better as far as the expectations of the marketing that they had pushed this movie as being. Um, but uh, because they didn't do that, it left me a little unfulfilled in that aspect of what I was going for in this game or in this movie uh, about this quasi video game world. Uh, it feels very much like a mesh between They Live and uh, Ready Player One, in fact. Um, neither of which did very well at the box office. Um, now, Ryan Reynolds has a lot of a lot of heart in this movie. Uh, Jody Comer is beautiful and plays his love interest slash the creator of this, uh, you know, the underlying foundations of this world. Um, and it's kind of interesting on that aspect of it. They, the two do have great chemistry. Uh, the shine out person in this is Joe uh, Curry, who, uh, Curry, who does a wonderful job. Uh, the first thing I've seen him in since Stranger Things, uh, and uh, you know, he does a great job in this um, as the other computer programmer. And uh, I, the only thing that saves this movie a little bit is the third act. All of it is building up to that because in the third act is where you get the most action sequences and the resolution of the plot finally that comes through um you know which plays out very much what most of the trailers had taken uh from uh from this movie um but overall i was left somewhat unsatisfied and thus that's why i gave it the shock of thumbs down again uh this video game real world kind of uh, trope uh, whereas the video game actually becomes alive uh, it just seems out of date uh, 10 years out of date like I said you know it felt to me like I was watching you know this would have been a greater uh, movie back when the Sims and Grand Theft Auto were at the height of their level of video games uh, nowadays there are some jokes that lay reference to 
the recent failures of companies uh, poking at Taika Waititi's company in particular with the cyberpunk uh, launching of their game um, and having so many flaws and bugs in it that it's basically unplayable uh, and is a terrible joke as you know he's looking to launch his part two of this uh, game um, you know, so that I found that a little bit of humorous, but it not enough to sustain me all the way through, despite these great actors uh, and actress in this movie, uh, unfortunately. Again, you know, in the video game world really felt like a video game world, um, you know, where it wasn't, you know, they were trying to make it a real in the aspect of the characters who you know the npcs that live there and reside there um but it was but they didn't embrace the full corniness and cartoonishness of these real life players coming and wreaking havoc on the city uh so much that uh you know one would have maybe expected uh uh, without any repercussions or repercussions. Another item in the game is that all the NPCs in the in the game uh, basically go on strike at one moment, realizing that they're alive and that they can do their own thing. They choose their own destinies, not just what the game parameters had put on them. Um, and, uh, you know, which leaves all the player characters with nothing to do amongst themselves. Well, Fortnite has shown, you know, these guys would just go added against each other in a freestyle uh you know player versus player uh kind of combative game within the world so even without the npcs and the side quests i think many players would have just done that instead and still made use of their time in the game instead of just saying hey there's nothing to do in this game and then just check out of it uh, so, again, you know, I know this sounds weird, but not very realistic as a video game, uh, you know, represented in this movie. And, you know, although maybe true to life with what companies like what Taika Waititi's company represents in this one uh, does to smaller startup uh, firms and businesses and programmers... Uh, hiring them on only to shelf their ideas um, or buying them out not to have competition uh, neither aspects of which in this film are are really explored to their fruition or conclusions uh, it just kind of turns into a sappy quasi-adventure love story between Ryan Reynolds and uh, Jodie Comer uh, when this movie could have been so so much more all right. Well, that's my review of Free Guy with Ryan Reynolds, Jody Comer, and Joe uh, 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 Keery. Um, overall, again, a shock of thumbs down. Uh, I'd say just wait for it to come on streaming. It'll probably have a lot of legs, a lot of life there. Um, you know, eventually it'll probably hit Disney Plus and be for, uh, you know, pay on demand video. Uh, later on within the next month or two uh, after its short run here at the box office. Uh, all right. Thank you so much. This is Trinidad, the Island Man, your Island Man, giving free guy ov overall a shock of thumbs down. All right. Thank you so much. Aloha and mahalo. And I'll see you later. I'm going to go ahead and do uh, Don't Breathe Part 2 next. So uh, that'll be my next review. Uh, I think that'll be a much better movie than Free Guy. Uh, but again, rated R, so not for kids. Kids might get a kick out of this one, but there are some sexual and adult innuendos, uh, you know, a la Ryan Reynolds uh, in Free Guy as well. So again, mahalo and aloha.